Euler's identity is one of the most beautiful equations to come out of the mind of man. It gives us a concept of oneness or unity and a concept of zero. This video is going to explain how this equation is woven into the fabric of space and time. In a new theory called quantum atom theory, time is an emergent property. What we see and feel as the flow of time is formed by the continuous flow of light. Each photon of light will radiate out forming a sphere creating a square of probability from its radius. This is why we have pi in Euler's identity. It represents the spherical shape of the light within this universal dynamic process. If our eyes were more sensitive to the light we would be able to see that everything is radiating light waves of electromagnetic radiation continuously. This forms a continuous flow of electromagnetic fields and the magnetic fields will always be at right angles to the electric fields. This is why we have I in Euler's identity because the imaginary numbers are always at right angles to the real numbers representing the dynamic geometry of the electromagnetic fields in three dimensional space. This is a totally dynamic process. If the energy is increased within an individual reference frame the rate that time flows will slow and the curvature of space-time will increase. Euler's number A represents the rate of this increase of curvature that can be seen almost everywhere in the form of logarithmic spirals. In this theory each new photon oscillation of light is a new moment in time that has the curvature of space-time. Therefore Euler's identity we have plus one representing one photon oscillation this equals zero representing the moment of now with the positive numbers marching off towards an infinite future and the negative numbers receding towards a limitless past the positive and negative of electromagnetic waves this theory is not based on human mathematics it is the other way around and human mathematics is based on the dynamic geometry explained in this theory this is why pi and Euler's number E is a rational number and continues forever, never forming a regular pattern, always forming something new in the form of a new combination. Just like the continuum of time itself, always forming something new that we can interact with, turning the possible into the actual. A process that gives us the uncertainty and freedom of our everyday life and the mathematics of Heisenberg's uncertainty principle of quantum physics. Please subscribe and rate. It will help in the promotion of this theory.